A big warm welcome to you, to the Hawthorns here. We're on the outskirts of the city of Birmingham. It's an area Alan knows only too well. Alan Smith, who is with me for commentary today. West Bromwich Albion in this game today against Watford. Number seven, James Morrison. And number nine, Solomon Rondo. He's the one we're focusing on, I think with good reason. His finishing ability is spectacular. It has been down the years. I know he works hard on it in training. And you can see the results on the pitch. The team now for you for West Bromwich Albion. Ben Foster starts in goal. Gareth McCauley starts with Johnny Evans as the centre-backs. Jake Livermore plays with Darren Fletcher in the centre of the park. And Salomon Rondon is the lone striker today. Here's Watford, and this is how they're going to line up. Sebastian Trudel plays alongside Miguel Angel Britos in the heart of defence. Tom Cleverley plays with Valon Berami in the centre of the pitch. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. Well, here we are at the Hawthorns, and I'm not too far from where you were born and brought up. How did you feel coming here as a visiting team? Did you feel that it was hostile, or were you almost at home? It wasn't overly hostile. They are friendly fans, the Boing Boing Baggies fans. They love the football, harking back to the, the Jeff Astle days and beyond. And for your information, today's referee, Andre Mariner. At last, after all the build-up, the game starts. This could be a chance. Good, strong tackle. And the cross coming in. Well, crossing is a skill, and that's not a very good example of it. They've spoilt the promise of that attack. Here's Phillips. Here's a chance to attack. Come to the challenge. Tom Cleverley. Attacking now. Building steadily here, keeping possession. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. New York. Darren Fletcher. Jake Livermore. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Craig Cathcart. That's a Chadley. Good defending. Etienne Capu. Into the attacking third. He could do a better cross than that, I think. And it was easy to cope with. Darren Fletcher. Jake Livermore. That's a Chadley. Well, they're in a good position here. Looking for an opening with some good controlled build-up. This with the chance, and it's into the back of the net, and they're in front now.
Well, he might be a defender by name, but he's got an attacker's instincts, as this shows. Well, his teammates are all over him. They know he's capable of doing that. I think he does it plenty of times in training, but this one's valuable. to the attack now now oh, the attack has done well beaten his man and the ball's got away from him well read by the defender Etienne Capu well this attack has got a bit of menace to it Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Cleverly. Dini. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. Livermore. Great cat cut. Tom Cleverly. He's coming forward with some danger. Tackle here. Typified the competitive nature of this game that tackle it's only a throw in Etienne Capu punched away but shots on here and they pulled it back level well that's an awesome goal well the keeper quite rightly is disgusted with his defenders because they've just not helped him out there another angle on it here So away we go at one all. Fletcher. James Morrison. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. He went in well. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Nordin Amrabat. Throw in now. Neil. Livermore. Morrison. Two and having a little game of their own here. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. That's the way to win the ball back. Etienne Capu. Oh, good through ball. That's cut out. Tom Cleverly. Niang. They've coped with it well defensively. The referee has indicated that two minutes of added time. Two minutes. That's what it says on the board. James Morrison. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. 
And Phillips. So here we are at half time, and it's 1 1. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he stepped forward for his team there with that equaliser, but his team haven't been, what you would say, on the best of form. Substitution time. Coming off the pitch, number 24, Coming onto the pitch, number 5, Walker. Here we go with the start of the second half. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Morrison! And they're desperate to try and change this game. It's been level and now they're pushing on, looking for the goal that will take them in front. Morrison. A timely challenge. Berami. Cleverly. Etienne Capu. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. Defender to it first. Jakob. Dawson. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. That's going to be a throw-in after that tackle. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Looking good, this move. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Niang. Well, that was a chance to really get in at the goalkeeper, running off the defender, but he's run offside. Yeah, he's unlucky. There wasn't much in it there. Morrison, we've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Etienne Capu. Tom Cleverly. Niang. And they're passing so well out there. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. Dini. And that clearly is a goal kick. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Attacking now. Building steadily here, keeping possession. 
great passage of passing play there. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a sub. He's got his shot off now. Oh, a good goal, and now they're a goal to the good. Well, this is what you call leading from the front. A strike from the skipper. Yeah, he's popped up at a very good moment there. A good look here again by the replay of the goal. And we restart the game 2-1. Now Evans. Yakov. Twenty minutes of the ninety still to play. Into the attacking third, looking for an opening with some good control build-up. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. And now the shot. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. cut out and it's gone out of play there well here's a chance now with the uh, the scorer coming off to revisit that goal Alan the possession stats so far for you coming up on the screen well nothing to split the two sides this is when you're looking for somebody to pick out a hole throughout the pass throughout the goal spotted that well and intercepted come on to just freshen things up a bit here West Brom I think with a substitution well that's not so much an interception as a poor pass Craig Kafka, good passing, shrewd passing, accurate passing. That's the way he earns his living. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. How frustrating is this for the other team? Try Real chance, great stop. And that'll be a corner. Well, time is ticking away, it's time for a change, and here it comes. Substitution for Watford, coming off the pitch, number 15, Brian Kasper. Coming onto the pitch, number 22, Brian Lundin. Shot on! Oh, it's one for the cameras, really. A diving save, and the ball stays in his gloves. Well, the atmosphere's improving now. Now the home team need to improve. They're still in with a shout. Yeah, time is running out. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. The gap still just one goal. Five minutes left for an equaliser, or maybe to pull two ahead. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Give a plunge to make the save. Corner given.
tackle is strong. Nasser Chadley. The number's gone up as far as added time is concerned. It's four. Well, that's a, a good amount of time to try and get the equaliser. And maybe they might just think they can win this match. Referee says free kick. Well, Ben Foster was big Ben there, wasn't he? He just filled the goal. Great work. Well, his reactions were just second to none. strong tackle well this was a match of fine margins the final whistle has gone and the final score is 2-1 well, I think he was the best performer in a good team today oh lots of energy lots of quality and a good goal along with plenty of chances the call